Hello and welcome to week 21 of Geography. You might be asking yourself, what am I wearing on my head? Well, stay tuned and we will get to that answer. If you look on week 21 of your Google Classrooms, you will be reading, doing uh, worksheet 14.1 and some book questions. On day two, you will do a little bit more reading, do worksheet 14-2 and answer a couple more questions in the book. The questions are not difficult to answer if you do the reading or have someone help you read. On day three, finish up any of this previous work because although it's not difficult if you've done the reading, it does take some time. So day three is finishing up any work. And on day four, there is a test it is an open book test, but once again, if you've done this work, it makes the test go a lot smoother so you don't have to look up every single answer. Now, um, we will not be doing the reading today. However, if you get this worksheet out, as I go through the PowerPoint in this video, all the answers are in the PowerPoint. Now, they're not in order, so you might have to pause the video as you're going through it and find which question the slide goes with, but each slide in the PowerPoint gives you one answer. So here we go. Once again, this is week 21 and this section in the book is talking about the Russian land. Now because this is such a big continent, if you remember last week, it is the only country, sorry, country, not continent, rather, that is on two separate continents. So it is one country and it's on two separate continents. So one thing that's interesting about Russia's land is that it has permafrost. This is a thick layer underneath the surface, a few inches under the surface, that remains frozen solid through the entire year. Um, this uh, permafrost really only occurs in the very northernmost regions of Russia. So as you can see in this picture here, there is some topsoil, there's a few inches of topsoil, but underneath that, it's just solid ice. The West Siberian Plain is the world's largest area of flat land. It's located in Siberia, which is in a region of Russia, and they have some pretty unique animals that live there. So you might have seen deer here in Missouri. In Siberia, they have this special kind of deer called the Siberian musk deer. You can see the fangs that come out of this deer. And our deer here do not have these fangs. So that is a unique animal um, that we do not have here. So to help you with the West Siberian Plain, um, a plain is a large area of relatively flat land. Now there might be some hills or, you know, areas where it goes up or down a little bit, but overall the plain is just pretty flat land. So in the Northern European Plain, you can see here on the map, it is a very large area and 75% of people in Europe live on this plain. The Volga River. The Volga River is the longest river in Europe, nearly 2,300 miles long. It flows through forests, steppes, and cities in central Russia and empties into the Caspian Sea. It is an extremely important river to many countries and cultures, and it is symbolic in Russian culture, literature, and folklore of the past. So there are many stories in the Russian um, culture that include this river. It's a very important river to them. Lake Baikal. This lake is over one mile deep. 
This lake also holds almost 20% of the world's fresh water. Nerpa, the world's only freshwater seal, lives here. So there, most seals live in salt water, but this seal lives in fresh water. Here you can see where this lake is located. So here's Russia, I know it's a little blurry on this map. And here is the lake. So it's a pretty large lake. And as you can see, people go diving in it um, for recreation, the very beautiful scenery there. Ural Mountains. This mountain forms a boundary between Europe and Asia. The highest peak, Mount Payer, reaches 4,829 feet. So here's some, a couple pictures from the Ural Mountains. Maybe this is that river flowing through there. And here it is on the map. So here's Europe and Asia's over here to the left to the east of the Ural Mountains and it kind of forms the boundary. Taiga. The taiga is a huge forest of evergreen trees or pine trees and reindeer are real animals and reindeer live in this area of the world. So here they are searching for grass probably to eat. Mountains of Western Russia. We have the Ural Mountains and we also have the Caucasus Mountains, which the Caucasus Mountains is the highest mountain range in Europe. This picture here is from the Dyatlov Pass incident. So maybe you've heard about Bigfoot. Well, this incident, what happened here was that there were some hikers and they were camping, they were trying to hike up the mountains, and they set up camp and it was normal. And then a few days later, when they should have been somewhere else after the hike, people noticed that, hey, we haven't heard or seen these people and they should be back by now. So they went searching for them and they didn't find anything, and, or they didn't find any of the people, rather. They found the tents and the tents had been destroyed. They found some of the, their clothing, like their coats, jackets, and shoes that they would have worn to keep themselves warm. So there's a lot of speculation about what happened and some people use this incident to say Bigfoot could be real because, you know, if you're hiking and it's snowy and you're in the mountains, why would you take off your shoes? You need your shoes. So it's a very mysterious incident that happened. And here's a picture from their campsite. It's completely destroyed. They, they didn't find any of the bodies of the people who were hiking. So very scary. No one knows what happened to those people. Moscow and St. Petersburg. These are both cities in Russia. Moscow claims the largest number of billionaires in the world. As Forbes reports, there are 84 billionaires in the city. St. Petersburg has a museum called Hermitage Museum, and it is such a large museum that no one has seen the whole thing. It would take you years and years to look at everything in this museum, so no one's ever seen all of it. And these cities are both located on the North European Plain, so again, where most people in Europe live. Here are some buildings that have very beautiful architecture, the colors on those um, cathedrals, very nice. And this is the museum that's so big that no one's ever seen the whole thing. The Caspian Sea, the world's largest inland body of water, variously classed as the world's largest lake or a full-fledged sea. Okay, so here it is. There's Russia. Here's the Caspian Sea. Here's another picture from the Caspian Sea and what it looks like from up above. So that is all we have for your worksheet 14-1. All the answers are in those slides we just went through, 
and I know we went through it kind of quickly so if you didn't catch something you can go back and watch this video again to find the answer. Now to get to this headscarf and why I am wearing it because older women in Russia like grandma grandmas grandmothers usually wear something like this to keep them warm maybe they have gray hair that they want to hide I don't know why they wear it exactly but I thought it was fun and um, people who wear head scars like this in Russia you would call them a babushka so I will see you next week let's travel around the world through ocean sea and land we don't have 80 days, but oh, what trip it will be grand. We start in North America, USA, and Canada. But both it's cold down south, it's hot. More continents, there are a lot. Let's travel around the world. South America, it's plain to see. The south of North America, there's mountains, rivers, and lots of trees. Africa is home to the deserts and the Nile River. North Peninsula, I hope you're a good swimmer. Asia is the biggest continent of all. Suns and tundra up in Russia, islands I can't name them all. Five down under, Australia has a desert plain, but it's all water. The coral reefs that make the chain, the last one is Antarctica. It's ice, ice, ice. There's mountains and there's valleys, but it's ice, ice, ice. We made it from the world, through ocean, land, and sea. We went real fast, it was a blast. Let's stop and have some tea.